Hi everyone, this is Carl. So some people from the Dialogflow community Facebook group uh, ask a question about what are composite entities. So there's two entities which are commonly known by most developers uh, out there, which are uh, system entities, which are made of popular concept <clears throat> uh, with <clears throat> dialog flows such as time or dates or geographical data or any other type of pre-made uh, entities that Dialogflow have. I'm going to put in the resource, if you don't know about the system entities, a link so that you can check them up. Or there is another type of entity, which is developer entities such as this one. <clears throat> so in this one, there is a, you know, a pretty common user case for restaurant. Uh, so this entity is called pizza type, where there's four type of different pizza pepperoni, all dress, margarita, and mushroom. So first create just a simple entity such as this one. And then after that, I'm gonna show you an example of a composite entity. This one is titled pizza number, but you can call it uh, any name that you want. The first step to do a um, composite entity is to remove the defined synonym that you would usually get when you first try to create an entity. So you'll be up with two lines, uh, one lines or two lines, it doesn't matter. And then you can create your first uh, composite entity, which is basically just two entities that are added one to another. So you can have two system entities added up or two um, developer entity or one of each of them. So in this case, we have uh, the system dot number and the system number number dot integer entities with the pizza that we uh pizza type that i just created so if i was to replicate because i already did done uh this one but i'm just going to show you how to make it sys dot number oh sorry so sys that number and then you'd add number oops sorry two dots here and number and then the at sign pizza Type two dots pizza type so that would recreate this one and you just press save and you could do this one. The difference between this one and this one is pretty simple. This is for numbers such as one, two, three, <clears throat> and this is for numbers like one, two, three. Two different ways of writing it, but it's the same concept. So let's go back to a Nintendo that I just created for this example, which I call composite pizza number. <clears throat> so in this intent, you see that there is the two type of composite entity, which is three written as a figure, pepperoni, and three pepperoni written as letters. So if I was to copy paste this into the console i'm going to show you how it works so users say i want to order two pepperoni pizza and the for response okay got it i'll order your two pepperoni pizza so let's check it out in the action block here you see the command which is cancel or order <clears throat> and you see the pizza number which is made of of three and pepperoni and in order to invoke here in a text response, you'll get here. Okay, got it. I'll command your pizza number and meal type. And if you'd be even more specific, you could say dot original. The dot original, what it does, it's it takes the original number. So if I say two, pe two, two pepperoni with letters, here it's gonna be written, okay, you'll order your two pepperoni pizza, but in letter instead of the, the figure two. So it takes the original input instead of taking 
uh, the one that the dial flow recognize as the most uh, appropriate one. So let's, so this is one made of a composite entity made of a developer entity and a system entity, but you can make one with, for example, two system entities like this one. So in this case, we have the same pizza type uh, entity that we're invoking uh, and there's or just in between two. And in order to make Dialogflow uh, see the difference between the two, you need to use the pizza type. And then again, I'll use the pizza type. But then you need to put any number or anything that would differentiate this first and write or, for example, and this with pizza type pizza type and then add a two and you would save it <clears throat> so you'll see why we need to do that uh, in order to do so why we're doing that and you still need to use that uh, i forgot to before here i should have pizza type and then dash two okay and then you would save it so why there's a difference between this one and the other one well this one is uh, if a user had an intent of ordering one item or another and you want to have a dialogue flow response your agent responding to that uh, in order to make sense of what the user is saying so um the user is saying i want a pepperoni pizza or an aldress pizza and now what we're saying say, so which pizza you, you want, pepperoni or all dress? And then you could have a follow-up intent that would take the discussion one bit further, but I'm just showing you the general, how to create the composite uh, general idea. So if you have any question, I'm gonna put in the link, the system entity uh, dialog flow resource so that you can explore all of them. If you have any question, don't hesitate to come either on the Facebook group, which is called Lagflow Community, or uh, on the YouTube channel, uh, which uh, I'm going to display this video. So don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to have more video and be aware of my new videos on dialogue flow and artificial intelligence. So I hope you like this video and have a nice day or a nice evening, guys, and talk to you later. Bye-bye.